Hey guys, welcome to Dance Request Yearbook 2020. Thank you so much for being here. This year has been so crazy. I don't even know where to begin because it's 2020. So it's coming to an end and I thought I would just do a, a recap of my year. Let's take a look at 2020. All right, at the beginning of this year, I was able to take a cruise on the Norwegian getaway out of New Orleans. And I sailed with Rob and Faber and Carl and Donna and Brian. And we had a really good time. I remember sitting on the waterfront after sail away, you go down the river because you're going out of New Orleans. And so um, we sat out on the waterfront, which is just an area where they have outdoor seating all along the whole deck. And we just sat there and watched the, the river go by. We watched the sunset and it was amazing. It makes you happy. Feels pretty good out here right now. We're out on the waterfront, one of my favorite places. My friends, my favorite people. Yeah, it's a good time. And um, this is the last of a view right there. It's gonna be a good night. That's pretty impressive. And we went um, to a couple different ports and looking back, it's like, wow, I actually got to go on a cruise because now there isn't any cruising. But uh, I was able to go to Cozumel and we went to Nachicoca. We spent the day at that resort. It's a really lovely resort. Pretty. pretty. We found a spot by the pool. And we'll probably be popping in to the ocean and to the pool all day. All right, we're heading in. And um, the water was chilly, but um, we still went in and then we went in the pool and it was just a really good time. So I'm just so thankful that I was able to go on that cruise <laughs> and had some really good times with some very delightful people. So that was amazing. Then in February, I was able to go on another cruise and this was just prior to them shutting down the cruising. So I went on the Carnival Magic out of Fort Lauderdale and we were sailing with Adventures Ahead non-group group cruise. It's really a group cruise. Don't tell them I said that, but um, yeah. So there were, you know, there were a bunch of us that were going on the on the ship, and we actually had made friends before we even went on the ship. So seeing everybody and meeting everybody in person for the time was just that was so amazing and so much fun. And you know, we had a lot of late nights and early groggy mornings. As you know, I'm not much of a morning person. If I stay up late, I kind of like my sleep, <laughs> but I wasn't going to miss out. I wanted to, you know, spend as much time as I could with um, everybody, and that was so much fun. Um, some of my favorite memories from that cruise is um, going to um, St. Martin, and we went to Maho Beach. And you think, you know, Maho Beach is where the planes come in. You'd think that'd actually be my favorite part of the cruise, but it was actually, not, I mean, of that island, but it was actually the waves at Maho Beach were just so bright and blue and tall and they're huge and there was so much power in them. They were really quite the show. We're at Leo's house. He wants to show us a puppy. His puppy, his pit bull puppy. So this is the first going to our tour guide's house. Hey, you guys. And that's Suki. Oh my goodness. Ow, I'll bite you. I'll take it too. It was a lot of fun. We had a smaller group that went to um, on an island tour in, in St. Martin, and that was so much fun. So in Tortola, which is another one of my favorite ports, I spent the whole day soaking up the sun with um, 
the, the group that was there in Tortola, and that was so amazing. And seeing my friend Bill, he had never swam in the ocean before. He was able to go in the ocean and he loved it. So that was magical. And then I spent some of the time uh, trying to find a beach dog to feed, <laughs> feed treats to. I bought um, uh, just a plain hamburger and I was carrying that around the beach <laughs> trying to find a dog. On the lookout for some dogs. I bet people are kind of wondering why I'm carrying my burger with me. Hello, Hello Jenna. Jenna. Hi. Hi. Michelle. Hello. Is this all the whatevs that are here? Yeah. Jared. Josh and Ted and Scott. Oh, no luck yet, but I'm sure we'll find we'll find one. Big fun in the ocean. The waves. Natural wave pool right here. That's kind of fun. But look at the outer islands you can see from here. Uh, there's um, sailboats and stuff, but then you can see the islands. It's just gorgeous. It was an amazing day. Um, the sun was beautiful. The waves were amazing. And I, literally, I didn't want to get back on the ship. So um, anyway, yeah, lifelong friends made on that cruise. The last night, there were so many emotions. It was really hard um, to say goodbye to everybody. And looking back now, knowing that that was our last cruise of the year, I'm just so thankful that I was able to go. And we also lost a friend um, that went on the cruise with us, Danny. Um, so we had some really good times with him. And so it was nice to kind of look back at that and have um, a good memory of that. So anyway, that's our two cruises. No cruising is going to be back. I believe, I totally believe it. When the timing's right, we're going to be back on those cruise ships. But until then, I'm fully embracing local and mini vacations um, just to, you know, have fun in the meantime. So that's awesome. All right, so I can't talk about 2020 without talking about COVID, right? You guys, this is a story. <laughs> this is part of our life story. Everybody has part of this life story. You know, um, we get off that cruise ship and immediately everything is locked down. And so, you know, we're in quarantine. I'm super obsessing about wiping down my groceries. We didn't know what was going to be happening with this thing. And, um, you know, <laughs> we got really good at uh, being, you know, staying far away, staying home, not going anywhere. Um, as time went on, you know, we did learn a few things. Uh, I would say that Instacart and DoorDash became some of my best friends, <laughs> which were kind of fun. And also, strangely enough, um, Doritos. I don't know why. Why did Doritos become so important? But um, early on, at least, I don't know. Maybe it was, I don't know. I can't explain it. Um, but I guess that's for a separate therapy session to figure that out in my brain, but not so much anymore. It was just early on. I was like, oh no, we just can't do anything. And so, um, you know, Doritos became a good friend. Um, also, I remember getting a package from our friends, um, Amanda and Bill, and they sent some, you know, fun treats and things like that. And one of the things that they sent along with Doritos was um, a last resort toilet paper roll. Because <laughs> do you guys remember how hard it was to find toilet paper? Yeah, it was pretty tough um, and we need toilet paper. So um, they just, they sent one roll and it was labeled last resort toilet paper <laughs> and it just really cracked me up. So um, it's always good to connect people and, and have fun and just, you know, be silly and, and enjoy life anyway, you know? Um, so that was kind of a, a fun memory of that. Uh, we also got very good at stocking up on stuff. We bought a mini freezer. We put, we brought in a shelf from our garage to, to store extra pantry items because I didn't really want to store them outside, you know, in the garage with the spiders and all that stuff. So I'm like, it's going in my dining room. So I had a beautiful <laughs> dining room. And then I had a, like a plastic shelf with boxes and cans of different things. Um, and oodles of, um, you know, noodles and rice and beans and <laughs> all of good stuff. So yeah, we got really good at stocking up. Um, I do have to say that beyond COVID, I think DoorDash gets um, an award for probably most likely to stick around because people really like DoorDash. And now that we've had this for so many months, people don't want to give it up and I don't either. It's kind of nice to have them. Yeah, we did actually find fun, you know, doing things online because we're staying home so much. So we would do a lot of online um, games like Jackbox and we would do calls with the family and just hanging out with the family or friends or going on live streams with other people. And so we actually found ways to um, connect to people even though we were far apart. It's always good to connect and just have fun if you can because life is short um, as we know. During quarantine, <laughs> we also, watched a million movies and shows and um, 
I'm sure you guys had your shows and movies that you watched, but some of the ones we would watch, we would we would watched um, Parks and Rec, and The Office, and Seinfeld, and we watched Tiger King. You guys remember that? Tiger King? <laughs> um, Cobra Kai, uh, The Queen's Gambit, just recently, that's, that's a new one that we watched. And of course, like all the Avengers movies, all the Harry Potter movies, all the Lord of the Ring movies, all the Star Wars movies, any series that we could find, we were watching. So we watched a lot of movies and including up to the end of the year, we watched a lot of Christmas movies, probably more than any other year. We watched a lot of movies. So yeah, I probably should have gotten up and walked around and did something else other than movies all the time, but it's 2020. So that is my excuse and that's where we stand. <laughs> Do you guys have movies and things you watched? I'm sure you do. So after the lockdown, when they had started opening up things, like they started with the beaches and they started opening up restaurants with capacity, different things like that, I was able to go to the Pensacola Beach for the first time. And I was just like scared of people. <laughs> I'm, like, <laughs> I'm like 20 feet away from you. They're like, just keep your people to six people, your group to six people and stay 10 feet apart um, on the beach. And I did and uh, it was just, I was just so blown away. Like the day I went was like the perfect, most beautiful day at the beach. All right, we've made it. It was really amazing out here. I'm excited. It's gonna be a good day. <laughs> I can't complain. This is um, quite amazing. I'm glad you guys are here with me. Oh, it's awesome. So amazing. Yeah. It's all good. It's good stuff. Um, I was able to sit there for hours and it was amazing. Um, you know, I was just blown away, but I was a little scared of people, but I was just blown away with how much I missed it and how much it means to me to be able to go to the beach. So I was super thankful that I was able to do that. And we also went to a restaurant as soon as the restaurant started opening, they had 25% went to Shaggy's um, restaurant. And we were a little, so a little scared and leery, like, what should we do? You know, they had a hand sanitizer as you walk in and so you do that and you have your mask and you go sit at your table. And we were probably 20, 20 feet or more away from everybody. And the restaurant we picked is right on the bay of Pensacola Beach. And so they have open windows to the outside. So it's really outside under, you know, the roof. <laughs> so, um, but that was really fun because it was like, oh, finally something a little bit normal and um, just a little glimpse of normal. And that's, that was amazing. All right, we have the inside table. And, um, empty, sort of empty. I'm excited, we're here. I just can't believe we're here. And I don't feel weird or unsafe or anything. I feel this is good. This is a good thing. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy to be out. Happy to be here. All right, here's what we're looking at. It's another marina down here. And look at all these tables. Those are new. Lots of tables. Yeah. And we had a good time. So it feels amazing out here. <laughs> it feels so good. It's so much fun. Actually going out for a night. I just can't believe we were able to do that. And beautiful and wonderful. So um, we did, we got out, we ventured out and we went to Shaggy's for our first dining experience. Um, and I wouldn't have missed it for the world. So. Guys, <laughs> we had a hurricane come through our town uh, right through Pensacola. It was Hurricane Sally, and this is in September of 2020. And um, I've never experienced a hurricane before. So this was um, kind of scary. It was a strong hurricane too. And it came through in the middle of the night. We lost our power for four days. And I will never forget the sound of that wind howling and whistling. When I would open the door and it was coming through the neighborhood, I was, it was shocking. I was like, what is going on? What is out there? And it would, you know, be really loud, and all of a sudden, go you have a huge gust of wind, and um, yeah, <laughs> Hurricane Sally claimed 
um, part of our big tree in our yard that had already been struck by lightning two times but since we've been here. So it's a sad little tree. <laughs> it's been beat up a lot. Hurricane Sally took um, half that tree and then um, we lost probably 100 shingles off our roof. We have to get a new roof and um, we didn't lose a fence or anything but there were down trees. There was flooding in Pensacola you know, right after the hurricane. We drove around Pensacola and there were streets flooded, like uh, cars flooded up to their windows. And, um, you know, you could see a bunch of damage, you know, down trees, down fences, roofs off. Um, it was crazy. And then a few days later, when they opened up the beach, the Pensacola Beach, we drove down there. And the majority of the houses that had ground level living, they had all of their stuff. They had pulled carpet and couches and furniture and flooring and ceilings and sheetrock and everything. And there's huge piles of it out by the street. That was kind of um, eye-opening and I'm just thankful um, that there, you know, we didn't get our, you know, our house was standing and we didn't lose anything. Um, and I'm just um, really grateful for that. But it was quite an experience. It was kind of scary. I can't even believe it. All right, we're gonna go down there, guys. Pre-Sally, um, we're about a little more than 24 hours away from landfall west of here as far as we know So this year, since we've had um, all of our cruises canceled and, and we've been able to do like mini vacations or weekend vacations, and that's been so much fun. Went for a weekend to Orlando to go to Walt Disney World, we went to Epcot for a day. And you guys, it was so hot. It was so, so hot. And um, we were able to swim in the pool. We stayed at a hotel off Disney the first night and it was so much fun. And then, um, the next day we went and uh, met up with Jason and Krista from The Degenerates on YouTube and they're just so awesome and so genuine. I just, I feel like we've known them forever and it was so much fun to get to know them a little longer and I felt like our time was short with them, <laughs> but I know we'll be back and we'll get to see them again. It was so much fun. And then we went to Epcot. So uh, we checked into the Disney's um, Pop Century Resort. We got to the park and it is it's so hot and uh it's also going to rain so i took my ponchos with us and we walked around mostly world showcase but we did hit the land and um and all that so that was kind of fun but uh we walked around and it was just so much fun reliving those memories of being there like we used to go there a lot like every year they had um their own little food and wine um so we sipped and snacked our way around the world Drinks, um, sips, and snacks around the world in one night. And you guys are here with us at the Hawaii stand. Hawaii! And we're gonna get a pineapple wine. Pineapple wine, you guys, it looks really good. Here's Norway, guys. Isn't this cool? I think it's pretty cool. That's refreshing, you guys. That's probably one of my favorites of the night. It's all good. And refreshing and cool. Cheers! Here's Paris, you guys. I actually kind of like this one. It's neat. Well, it's been an amazing night. I think we're gonna head back, go swimming, and um, just relax and enjoy the evening. Thank you, guys for coming along on our little mini adventure. And even though it was super hot and miserable, we got to sit down, we go inside where we can, 
it was a lot of fun and it was um, really neat to see the place um, that, that I've known for years. Um, we also went up to Murfreesboro, Tennessee to meet Josh and Michelle from Adventures Ahead on YouTube. And we had a fun low key weekend of swimming and um, laughing and eating and just hanging out and having a good time. And uh, I remember, <laughs> I, I don't know if I've laughed so much in my life, um, Josh is, you know, he's so funny. I remember him trying to get out of the pool and he makes a big scene and he splashes back and we were just dying laughing. Sunshine, pool. This is the Olympic event. Watch the professional here. Okay. Southern Michigan is being represented here. No! <laughs> <laughs> hey, watch. We're watching. watching. That's how the expert ready. does it. We're ready to We're rock. We're watching the expert We're ready to rock. Oh <laughs> Speed up. <laughs> you almost made it. And I just remember, you know, thinking how special it is to be able to be with them and have, you know, just hang out and do simple things that's all it takes is simple things and we're just having a good time and then that weekend we actually ended up going to biloxi for a night and um biloxi mississippi and staying at the palace casino that's kind of our casino this year we found our, our way over there several times and um it's so much fun to enjoy the pool they have it's it's just so tropical and beautiful i just love their pool the palm trees and they have um you can see the yachts that have come in um and they're you know docked there and then they have a bar and they have uh, music and um it's just it's just really nice and so i really enjoyed that and of course we enjoyed our gaming we got not on two separate trips we got two hand pays at that casino we had a $1900 one and then a $2000 one and um, of course that makes the trip way better all right baby show Ready? me show me what you Send got show me what you got Yes! Yes! <laughs> Royal! <laughs> Royal baby hand pay! Woo! We've also had a couple of um, people come to visit us here at our house, and um, this is so much fun. Um, you know, you kind of have to just do what you can to make, um, you know, make your happy. Find your happy. So we had Al and Jeannie come down. Um, over Labor Day, and they uh, came down with their kids, Louie and Mariah, and um, and they have a YouTube channel, uh, Cruising Through Life with Alan Jean. So they came down to stay with us for a while, and we got to explore Pensacola and show them out around. I love showing off Pensacola because I love it. I love Pensacola. I got to the beach. We went on the pier, and um, we actually saw a turtle, a large sea turtle, and a shark. I was shocked. Um, we had so much fun. Uh, we would go to, um, you know, Milton Bakery. They loved our Milton Bakery. Apparently the best donuts in the whole world, which is awesome that it, it's here in my little city. And we took, you know, different photo picture, you know, pictures and different things like that. Oh, we have a Dairy Queen with a view. <laughs> we did game night. Um, I remember Louie and Mariah and, and Jeannie were putting the, um, we were playing poker and they were putting the chips in their eyes and um, we were being silly, you know, we were saying, I like, got the money now uh, when we get a big win. I get ready and then I come out here and I didn't realize it was spa day. So oh. let me just show you our spa girls over here. Here's our spa girl. Am I doing it right, Jeannie? Look, yeah. And coffee. Oh, oh, yes. The dancer, uh, the dancer spa over yeah. here. Milton Bakery. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to learn how to pull craps. Tell me. No, that's the answer. Question will never be the same. <laughs> this is going to make me so much money. <laughs> Queen right there. All right, we are at Pensacola Beach with our beautiful family, the Brocks, and we are going to go walk out on the pier. Oh, family. 
That's sea turtle. That is cool. Come on up. Oh, oh, a shark. Yeah, a shark. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. That's a shark. <laughs> There's Al and Jeannie and their kids. It's been so fun having them here. Shiny eye. Okay. That was a good one. We're back in um, <laughs> I laughed so hard. We did spend a night at the Luxie and that was fun because um, the pool is still open and we were able to enjoy some lovely drinks and some sunshine and laughs. And then we explored Biloxi and um, we went to, you know, some souvenir shops and we went to lunch and um, it was just really a good time. It was amazing. It was so much fun and I just cannot wait for them to come back so we can spend more time together and um, good times. So we also had uh, Laura and Ricky that came to stay with us two times. First time, it was their anniversary. So I made a little whiteboard um, to celebrate their anniversary. <laughs> And put it on our on our fridge just to be silly and that was fun got to see the beach and uh, we went to sand shaker bar where we got um the very first bushwhacker ever created was created at that bar so we got to have that and um we had fun we did go to biloxi with them and then the second time they came it was halloween so we did um you know game nights at home and we did um, dress up for Halloween and we went out to um, a couple different breweries and that was so much fun. Um, yeah, we had a good time. So I can't wait for them to come back as well. They're um, really good friends of ours as well. And um, it's just so much fun to host people and we both, it's a vacation for both of us. Um, anyway, so we actually took a couple trips also out of state to Minnesota, or I did. Um, the first trip, I went up for a baby shower and to see family, and it was so much fun. I got to um, meet up with Al and Jeannie again at, um, up in Minnesota, and we went out to dinner, and um, Al actually works at the airport, and he met me at the gate, and he had ordered a cart to bring me to the front, and I thought that was such a sweet, gest uh, sweet gesture uh, to bring me, and like I felt like a princess, princess treatment, <laughs> so that was really fun. Um, Anyway, so uh, we did end up having to drive up to Minnesota not too long ago um, because um, Brian, my husband's uh, mom, passed away. And so we brought the whole family, including the dog, and we just kind of dropped everything and went up there and spent a lot of time with family. We did get a chance to see a couple of our friends up there just to um, say hi because we don't get up there very often. And so that was nice um, just being with everybody and you know, it's a hard time anyway but when you're surrounded by family, it makes it so much better. So, um, but that was funny. Um, one thing that I remember from that trip is that Gimli, uh, <laughs> he's not a very good traveler. He doesn't like to travel other than going to the park, the dog park. If it's a dog park, he's super excited about it. But um, we actually had to take him because we didn't have anybody to watch him down here in Florida. So we took him with us and um, he, basically he had the entire back of our vehicle um, to kind of lay around and do whatever he wanted. And you know, he eventually would settle down and go to sleep. But anytime we would slow down, whether it was for traffic or whether it was to get off in it at an exit or whether it was to stop for gas or food, he would howl like Chewbacca um, in Star Wars. Yeah, so Gimli, we're going to just have to change his name to Chewy. <laughs> okay, Chewy, turn on the hyperdrive, right? Anyway, um, so that was, yeah, we did have a couple trips to Minnesota. And um, yeah, one was unexpected, unfortunately. Um, I did some volunteering with the animal shelter, with the dogs. And that just makes me so happy. I don't have a whole lot to give, but I do have, you know, love and snuggles and I can you know give you walks and things like that and that just brings me a lot of joy so next year that is something I'm looking forward to I have to say that this year there's been so much that I'm so thankful for even in the year that it is there's just so much out there that I, I am I'm thankful and grateful for I'm thankful for you guys you know 
um, you know, people that I've crossed paths with or made friends with, lifelong friends, um, just, you know, memories and really how important those precious moments are in life, you know, um, you know, hang on to those. And you guys, I know this year was tough. It was challenging. I'm super glad that you're here with me. And I know next year is going to be, it's going to be better. You know, it, we're going to look back and go, wow, we got through that and we did it and we're okay. And um, we're looking forward to new things and new, new adventures, new friendships and all that kind of thing. So anyway, I appreciate you guys being here. Thanks for coming along and um, joining me on my Dancer Quest Yearbook 2020. I hope you have a happy, happy new year.